crystallized rocks and they're, they're not tourmalines, they're quartzes and feldspars. But besides looking for the chemistry of the minerals, we're looking for the grain size, the coarseness of grain, the texture. And what we're looking for is larger crystals. And when we find the tourmaline growing fairly large, usually it's surrounded or encased in areas where the feldspar and the quartz is also growing very large. So in the case of the chimneys, when we find a chimney, we find a sort of a vent uh, trail from when gases and fluids came up. And then we look for the grain size along the chimney and it gives us an indication of probably where pockets will be. And these are some of the secrets of uh, mining gems. And there are many people out there that haven't even started to look at the uh, chimney phenomenon yet as a way of tracking them. And most of those people are just haphazardly uh, running tunnel, which costs them a lot of money that they don't need to spend. And uh, because if you really know where it's like if you're a big game hunter, if you know where the animal uh, sleeps or the, where the animal drinks water, you can uh, target that area. If you're going to go through the whole jungle or the whole forest and burn it down, um, you know, that's the way some mining is done. It's just they tear apart a whole mountain to get at a couple of things in it. And I don't believe in that kind of mining. My mining is kind of like laparoscopic surgery. And once you understand the character of the minerals and what they're doing, you, you, can, you can pretty much see where they reside, where they're going to live. And that's what I'm doing right now, is I'm just probing for evidence of where a pocket may, may be uh, um, living in this, not living, but in the literal sense, but a pocket may be emplaced in this, in this rock. And it's very much like tracking an animal and looking for the, for the uh, traces of, of uh, hot uh, aqueous fluids that have migrated through this rock and transformed them somewhat, leaving behind some of these clays. And you can see this dark brown clay here, probably in place after the pegmatite formed. But we're dealing with broken pieces of quartz here that have actual shiny faces on it. So. It, even though it's not big enough yet, I'm getting closer, so that's the whole process that I'm involved in right now.